Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a story of a man who did this when his girlfriend absorbed another man's crap and at the very next moment kissed him. Here's the full story with two updates. Yesterday I picked up my ex-GF at her parents' house. She was still my GF at the time. Before we got in my car, she asked if she could drive. I was surprised. She usually avoids driving because other cars on the road always made her nervous. I didn't really question her sudden enthusiasm to get behind the wheel. It made me happy that she was finally getting out of her comfort zone. Not gonna lie, I was an anxious passenger at first because I had no idea what to expect with her behind the wheel. However, her driving skills were not bad at all considering how little driving she's done. We were supposed to go to the mall, but I noticed she was driving in a different direction. When I asked where we were going, she said she had to make a quick stop at her friend's house. I didn't mind. We were parked in front of the friend's house moments later. She said I'll be quick and got out. Translation, wait in the car, I'll be back in two minutes. She was gone for at least ten minutes. I know because I almost finished listening to Bohemian Rhapsody twice. As soon as she returned to the car, she kissed me out of the blue. She was very passionate. When she was done, she said she knew I was planning to break up with her. It was true, I was. Apparently one of her friends heard it from one of my friends. Gossip girl crap. She said I should consider the kiss a goodbye gift from her, and the guy whose crap she just sucked inside the house. I didn't want to believe it, but she had compelling evidence on her phone to prove there was indeed a crap in her mouth before she came out of that house. I didn't bother arguing with her. The damage was done. She got out of the car and entered the house again. My first breakup ever, and this is how it had to end. For the record, I have no problem with this post getting downvoted or buried. Yesterday one of my ex's friends contacted me. She said she got my number from my ex. Made sense. I blocked and deleted my ex's number since our recent breakup, so if my ex wanted to continue communicating with me, she had to get creative. Hence, the friend. She said my ex wanted to meet for coffee and clear the air. The friend made it sound like my ex was really sorry for what she did to me. My head was telling me to save my energy and avoid meeting my ex at all costs. But my heart was telling me I used to love her at some point and maybe hearing her out would be the adult thing to do. I decided to ignore what my head was warning me not to do and agreed to meet with my ex. My ex and I saw each other this morning. It became very clear very quickly that she had no intention of apologizing for what she did during our breakup. She wanted me to know that she found my Reddit post on TikTok. She showed it to me. It got a lot of attention. She reminded me how she had to find out from another person that I was planning to end our relationship. And now she had to find out on TikTok that I shared our private life with strangers on the internet. I said well at least I didn't go down on a random girl moments before kissing someone I supposedly loved. My ex said she involved another person, the guy whose crap DNA was in my mouth, because I involved another person, my friend that I spoke to about the breakup before the breakup. I got frustrated and said I guess that made us even. My ex disagreed. She said if she wanted to get even, she would have to post her side of the story on Reddit or TikTok. She was saying that to low-key threaten me. But I didn't care, she didn't scare me, not until she said she might accidentally refer to me by my name and surname, and username on social media. I said nothing would stop me from making the same mistake and dropping her real name too. She said challenge accepted and dared me to drag her name through the mud so she could do the same to me, but apparently worse. I called a timeout and asked what the f she wanted. She insisted that I created another post. You're reading it right now. I was instructed to type the following words from her verbatim. I kissed you after absorbing someone else's crap to teach you what someone with balls actually tasted like. Because you obviously had no balls to tell me it was over between us. We're both to blame for the bad breakup, but I blame you for most of our relationship problems. Because you were under the impression that being an introvert meant I was in charge of communication. I confessed to absorbing another dude's crap when I was done making out with you. And guess what? I was still doing all the talking. I'm not perfect, but at least I told you what was going on instead of keeping my mouth shut. You can hate me all you want for using a random guy with a random crap to hurt you. However, you've been using me since the beginning of our relationship. I was good enough when you wanted to lose your virginity and enjoy all the perks of having a girlfriend. But as soon as you became more sexually experienced, you realized relationships actually required work. I'll admit, I'm a lot of work. But so were you. Dating a virgin guy with literally zero relationship experience meant I had to take the lead in and out of the bedroom, which wasn't always easy and enjoyable. But I did it because I believed you were worth it. I was wrong. You're just a little boy with a big appetite and a small stomach. Fun fact, you didn't make me come as much as you think you did. 
The end. There you have it. I'm the bad guy. I have done my part. I agreed to share this post if my ex agreed not to turn this into a name and shame game on Reddit or TikTok or whatever. I guess this is the price I had to pay for sharing my relationship drama in the first place. F up number one for 2023. My previous posts received a lot of upvotes and awards, which I really appreciate. But please don't feel the need to keep doing that. This is not even my real account. The other day my mom asked me why my ex was no longer visiting our house like she used to. I rolled my eyes because I've answered that question before. I said because she's my ex. She had no reason to come to our house anymore. My mom knew my ex and I had broken up, but she's been unable to let it go. She loved my ex like her own daughter, which made it challenging for her to accept that my relationship had come to an end. I've explained to my mom on more than one occasion that my ex and I were not good for each other, and the only solution was separation. I didn't tell my mom that my ex kissed me when she was done absorbing another man's crap on the day we broke up. It was none of my mom's business, let alone something any person would want to tell their parent. Since the breakup, I've cut all communication with my ex. However, my mom still had my ex's number and I knew the two of them were low-key communicating. My mom got my ex's number from me long before the breakup. It was one of my mom's rules when it came to my relationships. I always had to provide the contact details of the person I was spending most of my time with. A precaution in case, I dunno, she couldn't get in touch with me or something. I filed it under mom being mom and moved on. I didn't really care that my mom still had my ex's number. There was nothing my ex could tell my mom that wouldn't make both of us look bad. Little did I know that my mom would end up inviting my ex to our house without informing me, and expect my ex and I to kiss and make up. Imagine my surprise when I saw my ex sitting in the living room when I walked into the house last night. My mom was quick to grab my arm and show me where to sit. I was fuming. My mom spoke on my ex's behalf and said she came to apologize for what she did. I looked at my mom like what the f are you doing? My mom said my ex confided in her and confessed to all the bad things she did during our relationship, including the post-BJ breakup kiss. I literally stopped blinking. No parent should know that much about their child. My ex confirmed what my mom was saying and actually apologized. She seemed sincere, but that apology was coming from the same girl who acted completely casual when she decided to use a random guy's crap as an appetizer before putting her tongue in my mouth. I was not emotionally prepared to contribute anything constructive to the conversation, so I asked my mom and my ex if that was all, because I would like to leave. My mom asked if I had nothing to share that could help heal my relationship with my ex. I said sharing was kind of my ex's thing, hence the other guy. At that moment, my ex looked at my mom and said I preferred sharing my feelings with strangers on the internet instead of with real people. I said the strangers on the internet were the ones who advised me to get an STD test after she kissed me. My mom was shocked to hear about the STD test. Even though I said I was clean, she got stuck on the fact that I said STD. My ex got up and said she was gonna go before I start using words like sensual assault again. I got up too and asked my mom if we were done. My mom seemed confused and asked how did we get to STDs and sensual assault. My ex said Reddit. He got it all from Reddit. I said technically I got it all from you and the crap you absorbed. My mom said she heard enough and asked my ex if she wanted to stay for dinner since the food was done. My ex said yes. Dinner was awkward and tense, but my ex and I managed to pretend we didn't hate each other for my mom's sake. My mom made some of her best dishes, which made it even more obvious that she genuinely expected a positive outcome. As I was shoveling down spaghetti, I came to the conclusion that I might be cursed to fight with my ex until we end up dead, or worse, together again. F that. I don't know the details my ex shared with my mom during their one-on-one -on -one conversations, but based on how unusually quiet my mom has been since yesterday, I'm guessing she heard more than she anticipated when I opened my mouth. It's really awkward between us now. OP, sorry this happened to you. Hopefully your mother comes to understand the situation from your perspective. Your ex legitimately sensually harassed you. This just seems like an opportunity for her to hurt you, using your family and your home. Get a restraining order. Prohibit her from being within a hundred feet of your presence as it violates the law. Additionally, always remember that forgiveness is a personal choice for your own well-being, while acceptance benefits the other person. It's never too late to move forward from this situation in a constructive manner. Alternatively, a less favorable alternative is to confront your mother with the ultimatum of choosing between you and her. Good luck and stay strong. That's a really toxic relationship with a parent you have there I think. I don't know, it might be a culture or age thing. But my parents don't have a say in who I date. Are you by any chance still a minor? 
Even if that's the case, it's still effed up your mom would interfere with your life like that. I think you need to talk to her openly and ask her to stop. It's not normal for your mom to make it a rule to have the number of whoever you're dating. Also the fact that your mom is willing to overlook that you were sensually harassed by your ex is astounding to me. Your mom needs to get her priorities straight and she needs to leave your ex alone. I don't know how you managed to have dinner with your ex in your home, or how you just went along with the interaction at all. But it's time for you to lay down some boundaries with your mother. To some people the kind of on-again, off-again relationship where someone makes a petty gesture they later lament, and thinks they can apologize their way out of seems completely normal. I think you should sit down with your mom and explain how you feel how it's inappropriate for her to have brought all this together and how there is no chance of reconciliation. Then if she can respect that, then you should respect her feelings and her desire to remain friends with your ex. Communication is key. Everyone needs to be on the same page. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you really like my videos then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.